These are two sheets of balsa wood. One is your plain balsa wood and one has been covered with a metallic foil and also a carbon fiber veil to make it a lot stiffer. Um, what we've been doing in this series is showing you how to do this so when you make a rocket, um, it has a smooth fin surface. Um, it's very strong and it looks great uh, because they come in a multitude of colors like what you see here. So where we left off in the last video, we had gotten all the parts necessary um, and we were getting ready to spray everything with epoxy. So that's what we're gonna see in this video and we're gonna take it to the conclusion and you'll see how you can make these awesome looking foil covered fins. Welcome to Advanced Construction Videos, where we show you how to tackle rocketry, building techniques, and more. On our website, we sell kits, motors, building supplies, and electronics. So come and learn, shop, build, and fly when you visit us at ApogeeRockets.com. Okay, I'm outdoors, and uh, right now I've got uh, just some alcohol in my, my spray gun, just to make sure that it's spraying okay. Um, so, like I said before, I'm going to spray everything on this board with, uh, with the adhesive. I'm going to flip these over and spray both sides. And then my balsa wood, which I lost, I'll spray both sides of that. Okay, so I got my balsa wood. Um, I also have a respirator because you do not want to be breathing epoxy. So uh, make sure you're uh, following safety on that. So I'm gonna put this on. Okay, so I'm done with the epoxy. Um, I'm gonna switch back to alcohol just to clean out my airbrush to make sure that it doesn't get gummed up. We're now back inside and we're gonna start to assemble everything. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is take our balsa wood and when you touch it, it's gonna feel like there's no epoxy on there, but there's plenty of epoxy on there. It doesn't take a lot to stick everything together. Um, I want to spray the side because it's it's so it feels dry, uh, but the epoxy's there. Uh, we're going to spray it lightly with some spray adhesive um, so that we can start to assemble this. So I'm going to take one of the sheets of uh, carbon fiber veil and put it on there, smash it down. And I'm going to do the other side. Again, we're going to spray it. Um, I'm going to trim this up now because I don't want this uh, epoxy sticking to the glass. Um, so the nice thing about this uh, veil, it just cuts so easy. Um, you just kind of score it and it will cut through. We're going to spray this with spray adhesive so that we can put the foil on. So again, as before, we'll just spray it really light. And 
I'm going to lift up the foil using a knife. And it's going to want to curl on itself, so be very careful of this. In fact, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lay it down and then take this and drop it on. Just like that, and then I can flip it over. It's sticking a little bit because there's still some adhesive on the cardboard. Um, it, you will, wherever you touch it, it's going to stick to your finger, so make sure you're wearing gloves. And then uh, we'll do the final one. And this time, I'm going to Okay, and then I'm going to cut my foil at the same time. Now this is a little bit harder because you're cutting through plastic. Um, does want to stick okay so I'm just going to pry this up with a hobby knife I'm going to make sure I get the foil because the foil is still sticking to the cardboard there we go and it came up a little bit okay so now, I got this big ridge right here, and um, I'm going to take some rubbing alcohol, I'm going to put it on a paper towel, and I'm going to, you don't want to lift this up any more than you have to, because you could leave your, your foil down, but you can slide it. Um, so I'm going to try to slide it. Get that wrinkle out. There we go. That's much better. Okay, so now um, I'm trying to take off any residue that the uh, adhesive left because this was a stick into the cardboard. When I lifted it off the cardboard, it took a little bit of the adhesive with it, that spray adhesive. And I'm just trying to get all that spray adhesive off because it's going to leave little bumps on my surface if I don't get it off. And I want to do the same on the other side. This side looks much better, but I can feel the adhesive on there as I'm taking it off, as I'm rubbing it off. Okay. All right, so now I want to make sure that my glass is dry because um, now you're going to have surface tension sticking to the plastic on the, on the foil um, and I want to be able to separate the glass later so make sure it's all dry uh, before you put the two pieces of glass together. All right so here's my second piece of glass and this time you know now you want to add a lot of weight to this so find something heavy to stick on it. I don't have anything heavier in this room right now other than this, uh, but put it on as much weight as you can to smash it down. 
Um, and then we're going to let the epoxy cure. And what I do... Uh, okay, so this is my leftover epoxy. Um, since I can't tell when this is hard, uh, what I do is I always just put a little bit on a paper towel. And then I can check this. And when this is hard, then I know that this down here is hard. So now it's just a matter of waiting. Um, I'm going to wait overnight before I peel everything up. I'm going to put some more weight on this uh, to make it make sure that it's is pressed down as hard as that we can do. Um, if you have a vacuum bag system, you can also throw that into a vacuum bag um, and suck all the air out. Um, that will help to um, get rid of any air bubbles. Um, I can I can kind of press down on the glass real hard and I can see where there are some like little lumps in there. Um, it's not going to be perfectly smooth. Uh, the more weight I can put on, and if I can suck out the air as well, that's going to help make it smoother. Um, this is one that I did yesterday, um, and I can see some little divots on it. Um, but overall, the surface is very smooth, and this thing is flat, like a, like a sheet of glass. And that's the other advantage of this, is normally your balsa wood can kind of warp over time um, because of humidity in the air. Once you do this uh, with the uh, layers of carbon fiber veil and then the foil to keep moisture out, now your balsa wood is going to stay nice and straight. So that's another advantage of doing this. So uh, I'm going to pause here and then we'll be back once this is cured. I can tell by the epoxy on my uh, paper towel that it's uh, nice and hard right now. So I can go ahead and pull things apart here and I lift up my glass and pop this one up this one's got a little surface tension going on Ooh, this is pretty I like that it looks awesome um, so our last step uh, before we can use this for uh, fins is to peel that uh, plastic off that had the foil on it and you just kind of have to go around the edge and kind of push it a little bit and you'll, you'll lift it up a little bit. And then at that point you can just peel it off. And then do the other side. Like that. And if you have a nice clear window that's good. That's a really good sign. Um, sometimes if you get an air bubble on it um, underneath, it'll lift it off and it'll leave the uh, foil on the plastic. But this looks gorgeous. Uh, you can kind of bend it back and forth and see if everything is um, adhered well. If it's, if it's delaminated, which means the layers aren't sticking together, you'll notice it. It will, it will pucker up. You'll see kind of like little ripples in it. Uh, but if you put enough weight on it uh, as it's curing, um, you'll have a nice strong piece. And this is just phenomenal. I love this one. Um, so at this point, it's ready to cut fins out of. And when you cut your fins out, um, as I said, the, the one drawback is you can't airfoil them. Uh, because if you airfoil them, you're going to go right through um, all the layers of foil and the carbon fiber. Uh, basically, the only thing that you should do is just round off the leading and trailing edges um, to make it uh, a little bit more aerodynamic, a little less drag. Um, so that has been my process of making metallic looking fins. Um, and it can also add strength. Uh, these are for, I make them, if you make them really thin, they're really good for competition rockets. Um, and they're like, as I said, they're, they're like perfectly flat. Um, if you're worried about your fins warping, this will cure that. Um, so my name is Tim Van Milligan. You've been watching the Apogee Rocketry Workshop. So may the winds be light, may the skies be blue, and may all your rockets fly straight and true.